open your eyes, open your ears. Something that I cannot explain and I cannot give you. But that thing they have to do. You because you will see people, all the languages in the world you will hear. From Chinese to Russian to uh, German, French. What we're going to see. Like I told you, the most of you on the way of this, the, the Jerusalem is called the Old City. It was built only in the 5th and the 6th century. The ancient city, the city of David, we don't see it, but it's behind the walls in the galley down the hill. That's why we don't see it outside the city. Because when they built this wall in the 16th century, that part was already over for centuries with soil. Nobody knew. The city we see was, like I said, they, they surround the wall of the city of that time. But it was very, 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 very small city of only one kilometer square. Very small. Now, the mountain in front of that, that's Mount Olive. Jesus came from the Dead Sea, from the desert of Judea, climbed the Mount Olive, will stand in the Mount Olive, watching the temple. The temple used to be where the That's the place where it used to be. And you see the temple and the Christ said, you know the temple. The Quran and he entered the temple and he sees the change the people who need the of the table of the change of the temple. Uh, because the lady here asked me, do you remember, why there is no embassy? So what happened in the end of the independence war, Jordanian wanted to control the holy places in the golden dome, in the, up in the mountain top of the temple. And they compare and require the east side of Jerusalem. Israel does declare from the first day that Jerusalem is the capital. There were a lot of fighting around this area. And suddenly, in 19, when the ceasefire entered between Israel and Jordan in 1949, they realized that they are dividing the city into two. East Jerusalem will stay until 1967. Jordan, West Jerusalem, it was Israel. In 1967, uh, during the Six Day War, Israel reunited back the two sizes. So now we can walk anywhere we want. But you have to remember, this road where we're now driving was the border. Everything that way used to be Jordan here. And there are still places we can see reminder of that <coughs> period. We will see bullets on the places I will show you. And we can see here soon a building that the top is like a thin wall with an opening that people can st stand there and it should, uh, the building is in Israel side to shoot to the Jordanian side. I will show you. So, because we can see Or Chaim, which means the light of the light, and Ararat Street. So that's, like I say, the two. Like I said, there is no gate. So we, you know, now we are in the Jewish world. The Emperor Constantino uh, started to accept Christian. Until then, the Christians were persecuted, killed by the Roman Emperor. But Constantino started to realize that the changing way of thinking, and his mother converted to Christianity, Elena. And she became very, very Christian, and she will come and visit the Holy Land, and she will build four churches. One, the Nativity in Bethlehem, that the one who will stay with me, we have the chance to see. The other one is this one, the, the place where the Holy Sepulchre, Sepulchre in Greek means a grave, the Holy Grave, the, uh, and one in Mount Olive and one in Hebron. Both the Mount, in, uh, Mount Olive and Hebron destroyed 
I want all if there is a little remain of uh, ruins, but not anymore. So this is, I will show you a picture. Sorry, but not before. We will meet. Uh, we will go later on to reach uh, uh, the uh, the Western Wall. We will pass through other stations uh, that are on the street. Not all of them, but others. So this one, this chapel here, is the tenth station where Jesus where they took up his clothes. Inside the church, I will, you will immediately on the right side there are stairs, very uncomfortable stairs. The crusaders never thought of us, so and never thought there will be so many people, so they were made very uncomfortable. So you will climb to the second floor and you will see two sta three stations there. There's 11, 12, and 13. 12, 11 is where they put the nails on his legs and feet. That part belongs to to the Catholic, the 12th and 13th belonging to the Orthodox, and that's the 12th is where they, the Golgotha, they put the stone, and 13th is the Piedad, I call it when they take out the body to and give it to their mother. You will go down the stairs and turn to the left, and to the left you will see a huge a, a dome, that's the dome we saw from far away, one of them, the biggest one, and underneath that where is the Holy Sepulchre Church. Holy Sepulchre Church, 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 church all the church. So that's the fourth church. In between, exactly, I won't go with you. I will explain you here because you can see and the echo is terrible and we are a big group. So it's better I explain you here. You know what to look when you, I will give you time to see. So exactly in front of us, you will see. Thank you. 